Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mills Garage. We have a whole bunch of suspension work shown on the channel and a lot of stuff, especially done to Subarus. But this episode is a little bit different. Today we have our buddy Andrew's 1999 Subaru Forester, and normally we're taking Forester suspension and installing it on WRXs or Impreza's, getting it a little bit higher. This is already a Forester. So today we're gonna to be installing a little bit different of a suspension with a lift kit. So we're gonna cover that lift kit, show you guys what it's all about. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and measure this up. Let's see how high this thing is at the moment. This is a before. All right, where should we go off of? Uh, hmm. We'll just go fender to the ground. Sure, fender to the ground. All right, and it looks like we are about just 30 about. 30 inches. Yeah, just about 30 inches there. Yeah. Cool. Go from the rust. <laughs> About 29 and a half. 29 and a half. So we got 29 and a half in the rear, yep. 30 in the front. Raise your super saggy butt. So yeah. It's lower in the back. All right, so uh, we'll install all those parts over there. See what this is in the end. Yeah. Let's right. get rid of that saggy butt syndrome. Yeah. So as you can see, this is a little different than what we're normally dealing with. Andrew decided that he was gonna go with all brand new parts. We are constantly refurbishing parts and reusing ones that we get offline on like Facebook Marketplace. These are a million times cleaner than what we are used to working with. So we got new struts, we got new springs, and most of you guys who have been with the channel for the last like four and a half years will know everything about these, a little bit about that, everything about these, and it's, what is that? It's a spacer! It's a spacer! Yeah! These things are nice too. Yep. Cool, this is the first time we've ever shown these type of spacers, but it's because, you know, with the Forester, we actually do need to lift it a little bit more. Yeah. And uh, these are all, these are all welded up really, really nice. Mm -hmm. Engineered to perfection. Yeah. So we got the front here. Mm-hmm. Those are two inches. Okay. And then the rear is two and a half. All right. So we're get rid of that uh, Subaru saggy butt. So we're gonna go ahead and install them now, yeah? Yep. Awesome. Sweet. Knock it out. So we are working with like less directions and instructions than we would like, but at the moment we have the stock Forester strut out and we have the other ones, the new ones right here. And so we are gonna basically go off this one as our blueprint and piece these beautiful parts together. Yep. Cool. Yep. So what do we just do, Ryan? <laughs> uh, we had to redo this, that way that yeah. spins nice and free. Yeah, there was a little washer we had spacer. The, the washer backwards in there, so. Yeah. Took it back off, now it's beautiful. Relayered it and now we got a, yep. a turntable. So we got everything constructed. This is our front passenger side strut and everything. And so we are on to a part where we haven't actually shown you guys at home how to do this, but now we are on to the spacers, yeah. right? This is what's gonna give us the extra, what do we measure it, two and a half inches? This one's two, rear's two and a half. This is the stock top hat that we swapped over, so this is where that extra space is gonna go in between. So, yeah, it's a little bit different. We're gonna go ahead and install the spacer first though. Yeah. Cool. Ooh. Yo, 
Yeah, that looks quality, man. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> there we go. Nice. That's what I wanted. Yep. All right, you can see, as far as installing the spacer. It's the easy part. Yeah, we're just gonna put the nuts on here, on these stock top hat bolts. We got really nice little nuts on here, and they've got the locks on them, you can see. But cool. there you are. Now I need a wrench. Yep, I'm gonna crank these down. Nice locked on. Now we can put this up in there. We'll probably have to loosen up the sway bar, I imagine, to let it drop down a smidge. Yeah, it might be right. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So we have the new struts in, and you can see way up here, we do have the spacer tucked up there. And so down here we have connected the knuckles and we are moving on to the trailing arm spacer. As you can see, these are a little bit different than what we installed on uh, Ryan Subi. He had subtle solutions spacers put in. This one's a little bit different but it's definitely quality and this is going to match up with the stock triangle mount that it has right down there and it's just going to bolt right up there so uh, we're going to knock this out on both sides and then we'll lower this down and we will show you how high this lift kit has made this car yeah buddy cool. All right, so we've got the Forester up in the air. We've got Andrew here, and we are ready to bring this down to find out what ride height this ADF suspension has finally brought it to. And if you made it this far, you like the video, so make sure to smash that like button down below. Make sure to subscribe, share with all your friends. We're gonna go ahead and lower this down now. Let's see what the ride height is. Check it out. Yeah. Cool. Here, come back here. I'm genuinely, I want to see what. Ready? Yeah. And then detonate. <laughs> and then detonate. Yeah, the other, the DSLR camera was actually picking up a lot of the engine sounds yeah, and everything. Yeah, I was just like, oh, yeah. I'm so excited to hear in person. Yeah, and now we can measure this up. Look at that. Look how high that is. That's so beautiful. 
Yes. <laughs> so we had 29 in the rear and 30 in the front, I yep. believe. Yeah, and we attributed that difference to saggy butt syndrome, but we're not 100% sure that that's the case. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and measure this up now with the two and a half inch lift kit. Yeah, two cool. and a half in the rear, two in the front. Two in the front, there you go. So, should fix the saggy butt. Oh. Mm -hmm. 32 and a half. All right. Cool. So that's a two and a half. And that was about 32 and a half also. Beautiful. Perfectly level. Wow, so it really was saggy butt syndrome. Yep. Cool, so that's all fixed up now. That is amazing. How do you feel about the height now? Much better. Yeah, right? Woo. Go off road. I, I like that idea a lot. Yeah, sure. We can totally take this off roading. How about, for this episode it's been a little bit long. We, we showed the whole installation and everything like that. How about we show the next episode, off-roading. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take this guy off-roading. Woo! And see what this new lift kit from ADF can do. Yeah, let's go send a rod. Yes! Mud in! These motors are easy to replace. Awesome yeah. work, buddy. Woo. Awesome. Woo hoo! Thank you. Ah. Thanks for watching this episode of Mills Garage. Make sure to like and comment below, share the video. DSLR died. Dead. There we go. Dead. I need to. Yeah, funerals next week if you want to come. Yeah, and if you want to help out with that, go to our Patreon account, patreon.com slash Mills Garage. It would really help out. Cool. All right, so we've got the legacy up in the air. We've got Andrew here, and we're about to check out this ride bike. Right. And the... what are you doing, Rich? Legacy. It's not a legacy. <laughs> it's not a legacy, guys. <laughs> it's not a legacy. This is Andrew's legacy. I promise you he has a legacy. So, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Nice That's about the legacy. Yeah, right?